good evening welcome hello teacher good evening hey good evening how are you fine i'm <laughs> having dinner ah okay i see yes the others hello good evening buenas noches para los demás también uh, bienvenidos gusto de tenerlos en la clase muy buenas noches so um okay let's uh Let's begin, right? We are going to begin right now with our um, video conference for today with our class. So uh, let me see. Just let me do something. There it is. Okay. So perfect. Let's uh, let's begin. Iniciemos entonces, ya que están muchos ya. Um, como parte de la sesión. So, muy buenas noches a todos en general. Gracias, qué bueno verlos, qué bueno escucharlos. Eh, so, it's really, really good. And we're going to start. Vamos a iniciar con nuestra videoconferencia número 13, video conference number 13. So, today, we are going to talk about the time. This is a very nice topic, very interesting topic, because in today's class, we are focusing on the time, right? So we focus on that, on describing, or well, in this case, using questions to ask for and answer about the time, right? So that is our focal point for this class, to talk about the time. So in this class, vamos a practicar, conocer nuevas expresiones y preguntas relacionadas a cómo cuestionar sobre el tiempo, ¿ok? Todo relacionado al tiempo, cómo es la forma correcta de decir las cosas. Mm, examples, right? Describing the time in which we do an activity, cómo se dice pasada de las cuatro, un cuarto para las cinco, todas esas expresiones, ¿ok? All of those expressions. So, Let's begin. This is our objective for today. Uh, en esta clase, quiero darles más empoderamiento, más de lo que eh, ya les he otorgado anteriormente. Y en esta clase, quiero que ustedes sean los que lean, ¿verdad? Al final, son ustedes los que tienen que, que practicar el idioma, a grosso modo. Entonces, yo les voy a dar la oportunidad a ustedes para que lean. So, en esta, cada una de las slides, claro, cada una de las diapositivas, ¿verdad? Al final, ese, ese es el propósito. Uh, quiero escuchar a Reina. What is the class objective, Reina? ¿Cuál es el objetivo para esta clase? La escucho. At the end of this session, participants will be able to ask questions using what time. Excellent. Thank you, Reina. Very good. Just repeat able. Be able to. Be able to. Ajá, uh -huh, Reina. ¿Sí? Be able to. Thank you. Okay. Uh, very good. So we are going to start uh, how to use questions with the time. Antes de iniciar, quiero, como les decía, conocer, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es lo que saben sobre esto? So tell me, what expressions do you use to ask for the time? ¿Qué expresiones conocen o han escuchado para preguntar por el tiempo en inglés? What expressions, what phrases have you used, have you listened, cuáles han leído, cuáles han escuchado, han visto por social network, cuáles, ajá. Uh -huh. For example, at seven o'clock. At seven o'clock, ajá. Uh -huh. Thank you, Reina. Yes, Luz. What time is it? What time is it, okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. uh, I listen, what, what is the time? What is the time, okay. Okay, very good. Perfect. Yes, these are some of the expressions, right? We are studying more today. We are using more expressions that are related to this, right? Very, very good. So uh, let's see what we have. Let's move on. So 
we have some expressions. Yes, we have many, many expressions. Como las que les estoy presentando acá, pero todavía no porque la van a copiar todas y no van a poner atención después. So, first of all, this is going to be like a diagnostic for me. Quiero hacer un pequeño diagnóstico. Quiero conocer también que tanto saben, ¿verdad? So, uh, let me see. Uh, Yesenia, Cárcamo, what time is it? Mm -hmm. What time is it, Yesenia? What time is it? No le escucho, Yesenia. Sorry. I cannot listen to you. Eh, no le entendí. What time is it? <laughs> Ajá, the time. What time is it? La hora. Ajá. It's... ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo se llama? 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 Uh -huh. What time is it? Okay, it is eight and seven. Eight and seven? Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Magdaleno. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Cualquier respuesta que me den es buena. Con solo que me estén um, comentando su respuesta. Sorry. Con solo que me comenten sus respuestas en inglés, está bien. Recuerden, es solo un diagnóstico. Solo quiero saber cuánto saben, cuánto uh, conocen sobre ese tema. Uh, Carla, what time is it right now? It's a to seven, seventy o'clock. Okay. Very good. Very, very good. Yes. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes. So nice, nice, nice. So we're gonna focus right now on using many, many expressions. That's why I have prepared this for you, right? Uh, this is the type of question we are going to ask, right? This is the type of question we are going to ask. Recuérdense que tienen que tener su cámara activada, Mrs. Sara and Lucia, right? Yeah, it's un recordatorio. Uh, okay, yes. So, um, yeah, eh, we're gonna check right now some expressions related to the time. Vamos a revisar en estos momentos algunas expresiones relacionadas al tiempo, ¿verdad? ¿Cuáles son las expressions related to the time? Eh, and questions, expressions and questions, right? So today we are focusing on the first one, which is what time is it? This is the first one, what time is it? The first question, what time is it? It's five o'clock, for example. What time is it? It's 7 p.m. What time is it? It's 10 p.m. Uh -huh. Regálenme un ejemplo. Así, similar al que les acabo de proporcionar. What time is it? Uh -huh. What time is it? It is seven o'clock. It is seven o'clock, uh -huh. another. It's a past nine. It's eight past nine. Okay, mm -hmm. another. Mm -hmm. No more. Pueden inventar una hora, no hay ningún problema. Uh -huh. What time is it? It's noon. It's, it's noon, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's noon, perfect, okay. Bien, ahora sí, vamos a aclarar. Les pediría solo que primero me, me pongan atención con esta parte y luego yo les doy el espacio para que ustedes lo, lo escriban, ¿verdad? O tomen captura o lo que consideren necesario. Yes. What time is it? Pero sí necesito toda su concentración. What time is it? It is, veamos el primer ejemplo. What time is it? Two o'clock. It's two o'clock. Always, I always start telling the time using 
it's, okay? Always, forever and ever, I use it's. It's five o'clock, it's six o'clock, it's two o'clock, it's 7 p.m., it's 9 p.m., always. I am going to start with the pronoun and the verb be. It is, or if you want to use the contraction, it's, okay? It's 7 p.m., it's 8 a.m., it's 10 o'clock, it's 9 p.m., so that is what you have to use, right? That is like the structure for telling the time, for describing the time, right? Very, very good. 205, 205. It's five past two. It's five past two. It's five past two. So we are going to focus on using the minutes. And then we are going to say that those minutes have passed from the hour. Primero vamos a decir los minutos, okay? Los minutos que han pasado hacia una hora, okay? Entonces voy a decir it's 10 past nine. Ah, o sea que estoy diciendo que ya pasaron 10, eh, ya pasaron no, eh, ¿Cuánto? 10 de las 9. 10 minutos de las 9. No, estoy diciendo it's 10 past 9. Ok, it's 10 past 9. Veamos este ejemplo. 205, it's 5 past 2. Aquí estoy diciendo que han pasado 5 minutos de las 2. Ok, no que han pasado 2 minutos de las 5. No. It's five past two. Ya pasaron cinco minutos de las dos. Son las dos y cinco. It's five past two. Got it? Mm -hmm. Veamos el otro ejemplo. Let's see the other example. It's ten past two. It's ten past two. 10 minutes have passed from two. 10 minutos han pasado de las dos. It's 10 past two. Y siempre va a ir con esta um, nomenclatura, con esa palabra, past. It's 10 past two. Por ejemplo, ahorita, digamos, son las 8 y 13. ¿Cómo podría decir esa hora? Y, uh, así como esto. How can I say it? It's mm -hmm. 13 past 8. It's 13 past 8. It's 13 past 8. Eight. Eight. Uh -huh. That is totally correct. It's 13 past 8. Uh -huh. It's 13 past 8. Uh -huh. Correct. Y así es como ustedes lo van a ir formulando. Okay? It's 13 past 8. Veamos otro ejemplo para decir que han pasado 15 minutos de las 2 de la tarde. It's quarter past two. It's quarter past two. Teacher, what is quarter? Quarter is like same 15 minutes. Okay? 15 minutes. That is the meaning of that expression. 15 minutes. Quiere decir que ya pasaron 15 minutos. Okay, students. Okay, teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Los demás, me confirman por favor, Yesenia, okay, Carla, Lucía. Quiero saber si estamos en la misma sintonía. Yes. 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 Okay. 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 Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's how you say it, right? It's us and then the hour. It's five past two, for example. Ya pasaron cinco minutos de las dos. Right? Like that. Let's see one more example. Veamos un ejemplo más con esto. It's 20 past two. It's 20 past two. It's 25 past two. Ya pasaron 25 minutos de las dos. 
it's 25 plus two, right? It's 25 plus two. So, esta es como que la manera más natural, si me dejan confesarle esto, es como la forma más natural de decir la hora. Teacher, entonces, si yo quiero decir, por ejemplo, para que estemos en la misma conexión, digamos, teacher Kevin, y entonces si yo quiero decir esto, lo que le voy a poner ahorita en la pizarra. Y puedo decirlo así, teacher Kevin. It's... Puedo decir esto, teacher. It's two and ten. Son las dos y diez. Yeah, it's correct. Sí, es posible. Es válido. No se lo voy a negar. No se lo voy a mentir. Pero lo más natural y lo más adecuado sería que ustedes dijeran es, dijesen esto. It's ten past two. Ok. It's ten past two. Eso sería como la manera más saludable de que ustedes lo puedan decir. Ok, participants. ¿Me he explicado? Ok, teacher. Uh -huh. Lisset, Iliana, Magdaleno, Reina. Yes, teacher. Senia, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. yes, teacher. Very good. Yes. Very, very good. Yes. Ahora sí, ya los dejo copiar la primera parte, por favor. Ahora sí, les recomiendo que solo copien unos dos, tres ejemplos de eso. No es necesario que lo copien todo. Not necessarily. Mientras tanto, voy a tomar la asistencia. ¿Verdad? Estaba esperando, dándoles el tiempo prudencial a los demás para que se conectaran. Entonces, acá. Eh, tengo a Diana. Diana me acaba de informar. Ajá. Give me a second. Hay ropa tendida. Sorry, Magdalena. Perdón, me decía Magdalena. No, viene una gran tormenta. Ay, mamá. Oh, yes. There is a big... Sí, yeah, it's true. Uh, Carlota, Hueso de Cepeda. Claudia Lisset García. Diana Margarita Campos Benítez. Iliana... Iliana Idalia Serrano Martínez. Present teacher. Ok. José Arnoldo Prea. José Iván Portillo. Carla Patricia Pineda. Present. Patricia Vanessa Enríquez. Ok. Oh, Vanessa solicitó permiso, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Lizeth del Carmen, Pineda Ventura. Present. Lucía Gabriela, Márquez Mengiva. Present, teacher. Thank you. Luz Angélica Muñoz Bustillo. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present, teacher. Mauricio Isaí, Isaú Calderón Esquivel. Sí, verdad, al igual que Cris se solicitó el permiso. Uh -huh. A Raúl Oswaldo Ramírez Fabián, Reina Guadalupe Rivas Ventura, present. Sara Judith Miranda Cruz, present. Stephanie Emperatriz, Tomasa y Beth Ramírez, Verónica Yasmín Ramírez, y Yesenia Elizabeth. Arcamo Serrano. Present. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Ok. Me dice José en el chat. Present. I have a call. Ah, ok. Yeah. No problem. I understand. Yes. Uh -huh. Very good. Finish participants. Finalizaron. Yes, teacher. 
Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So this is very, very simple. Mm -hmm. Very, very simple. It's just to know the combination. Solo se trata de conocer las combinaciones y a eso es básicamente con la estructura. Conocer la estructura, like keep it fresh, mantener fresca la estructura. It's quarter past two. Eso sí se la recomiendo. Consejo sano, saludable del aprendizaje. Ustedes puedan utilizar esta expresión. It's quarter past three. Ya pasaron 15 minutos de las 3 de la tarde, right? It's I don't know, it's five past 10. Ya pasaron cinco minutos de las 10 de la mañana. It's, the, it's five past 10. Y así, así es como ustedes van a ir haciendo sus combinations. Dudas, preguntas, questions, comments, opinions. Teacher, what is the meaning of art? The meaning of A. Ah. ah, yeah, a esa parte voy. Ha. Yes. Teacher, ¿cómo puedo decir? Ya son las dos y media, teacher. Ya son las dos y media. ¿Cómo puedo decir eso? It's half past two. Así es como ustedes lo van a decir. It's half, half, half. It's half past two. Ok, Claudia. Ok, teacher. Perfect. It's half past two. Ya pasó media hora o 30 minutos de, de las dos de la tarde, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. It's half past two. Y así va a ir variando, ¿verdad, teacher? Si vamos cambiando el número, ¿verdad? Two, three, four, six. Creo que no podría haberlo dicho mejor. Sí. Uh -huh. Conociendo esta estructura, ya solo ir intercambiando los números. Eso es todo. That's all. Easy. Easy, right? Yes. Perfect. Very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. It's half past two. It's 25 to three. It's 20 to three. Right? Faltan 20 para las tres. It's 20. To three. Entonces aquí es donde vamos a usar esta preposición. Two. To three. ¿Cuánto falta para las cinco, teacher? It's ten to five. Si yo les digo eso, ¿cómo me lo traducirían? It's ten to five. Diez para las cinco. Diez para las cinco. Exactly. Correct. Ajá. Correct. 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 Ajá. It's ten to five. Yes. It's 10 to three. It's five to three. Elaborenme dos ejemplos, por favor. Dos de cada uno. Dos con two. Y dos con pass. Y dos con half. Serían seis ejemplos. Dos con half. Dos con two. Y dos con a uh, paz, please.
cualquier duda consulten, ok? Don't hesitate, ask me. No duden en consultarme. Please, 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 please. Finish, teacher. Finish, Magdaleno. The six examples. Teacher. <laughs> okay. Yes, Ileana. Teacher, y se lo vamos a poner la hora o vamos a formular una pregunta para responder con esa hora o con... No, la pregunta es genérica para todos. What time is it? Finish, teacher. Thank you, Los Angelica. Thank you. Today is your day off, right, Carla? Am I right? Today is your day off, right, Miss Pineda? Yes, teacher. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. yeah. You see, you see, I pay attention. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I finish. You finish? Excellent. Yes. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Bon appetit, Magdaleno. Enjoy your meal. Repeat me. Enjoy your meal. Ah, it's coffee. Ah, it's go. Okay, enjoy yeah. your coffee then. Thank you. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Okay, perfect. Okay, very good. So let's check together. Uh, Luz Angelica, give us three examples, please. One with past, one with half, and one with two, please. Okay, teacher. Give me a second. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's 23 past eight. Okay. Uh, it's quarter to six. It's half past five. It's half past five. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Miss Patricia, yeah. Miss Patricia Pineda, your examples. It's 25 past eight. Mm -hmm. It's five past ten. And it's 10 to 12. It's 10 to 12. Excellent. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, I don't know if Reina, Yesenia, Sara Miranda, Iliana, do you want to share? Jose Correa? Yes, teacher. Okay, Reina. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. 
It's half past three. Uh -huh. It's quarter to five. Um, it's ten to nine. It's ten to nine. Okay, very good. Excellent, Reina. Very good. Yes, Ileana? Uh, it's five o'clock. It's twenty-five past four. It's all past seven. It's oh. five to one. Okay, half. Repeat, half. 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 No, half. 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 Uh -huh. Half. Yes. Half. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Yesenia, Claudia, Jose Correa, Magdaleno, Sara Miranda. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, it's half past one. It's half past eleven. Mm -hmm. It's twenty five to three. It's quarter to four. It's nine past seven. It's eight past five. It's eight past five. Very good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yesenia, Lise, Sara, Veronica, Jose. It's 15 past two. Mm -hmm. it, it's half past three. It's 10 to four. It's 10 to four. Excellent, very good job. Yes, that is totally, totally correct. Uh, okay, so right now we're going to describe the next step, the next information, which is related to this green box. It says we use the preposition at close the time when giving a specific time, right? So aquí le voy a aclarar algo. Muy importante. ¿Qué tanta información ustedes quieren proporcionar cuando alguien les pregunta what time do you work? Por ejemplo, yo, yo le preguntaba a Carla, ¿verdad? Porque no entendía. Carla, what time do you work? Entonces, Carla me podría bien haber dicho, si ella quería darme una idea general, ah, teacher Kevin, I work in the evening or I work at night. Ahí solo me decía, yo entendía que estaba trabajando, iniciado su jornada laboral por la noche, ¿ok? General. Pero ya cuando utilizamos esa combinación de la preposition, la preposition con el time, la preposición con el tiempo, ahí ya estamos siendo muy, muy específicos. Eh, bueno, vuelvo y repito, todo depende de qué tanta información ustedes deseen share, right? Compartir. Yes, proporcionar. The class starts at nine o'clock. For example, students, what time? Does this English class start? What time? At eight. My class is there at eight o'clock. Okay, at eight o'clock. Eight o'clock in the morning or in the evening? Eight o'clock p.m. O'clock. Eight o'clock p.m. Eight o'clock p.m. Eight o'clock in the evening. Exactly, right? Those are the variations you have to consider. Esas son las variaciones que ustedes deben de eh, prever, considerar, ¿ok? ¿Carla? ¿La veo con dudas, Carla? No. No, teacher. Ah, ok, no. perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, very good, yes. So, a specific time. For example, the class starts at 9 o'clock. The fly leaves at 10 to 3, right? At 10 to 3. Then we yeah. use. Uh -huh. Yes. Para decir si es en la mañana o en la noche, tendría que ser después del clock. You can twist it. Puede dar de vuelta, Carla, y en vez de decir o'clock, puede decir a.m. or p.m. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, a.m., p.m. Yes. Mm -hmm. The fly leaves at 10 to 3, right? For example, we use it is or it's to answer a question that asks for the time right now, right? We focus 
Uh, let me see. Wait, perdón. José dice en el chat, can I say it's five midnight? Or it's five to noon? Yes, that's possible. Yeah, it is possible, José. No problem. Very good. Yes. Ajá, ahí está. Y esa es otra combinación. Esto es de creatividad. Y a mí siempre me ha gustado darles ese, como explicarles ese a los estudiantes, esas situaciones, ¿verdad? Que pueden encontrar, porque no solo va a ser de una manera, hay muchas maneras de decirlo. No nos vamos a quedar solo con una, ¿verdad? Nos vamos a, vamos a, a expandir el abanico, ¿ok? Para ver cuál de las opciones nos conviene más. Uh -huh. Así como dice José, si ven en el ejemplo del chat que puso José, es una combinación del tiempo con, una, con un espacio de tiempo. Una hora con un espacio de tiempo. ¿Ok? Y es completamente válido. Veamos otra vez lo que dice José. It's five midnight or it's five noon. Faltan cinco para, la, para el mediodía. Faltan cinco para la medianoche. ¿Ok? ¿Clear? Yesenia, ¿es it clear? Sí. Ajá, ¿está claro, Yesenia? ¿Clear? Yes. Uh -huh. Sara, Liliana, Magdaleno. Lo veo con muchas dudas, Magdaleno. ¿No? No, teacher. It's okay. clear. Analyzing. Clear. Ajá, es que los veo, los veo y yo digo, estarán dudando de lo que les estoy diciendo. Están analizando la información y viendo en qué lo aplican. ¿La primera sí, o la está, segunda? Sí. La segunda, es la segunda. Second. Ok, perfecto. Yeah, I'm thinking. Ok, very good. What time says... I, I will go to sleep? I am thinking. Ah, ok. <laughs> ok. Lizeth, uh -huh. questions, Lizeth? No? No, teacher. Excellent. Ok. What time is it? What time is it? It is half past four. It is. 20 to 5. It is half past four. A ver, háganme un favor, escríbanme en el chat en números. ¿Qué significa esto? It's half past four. ¿Cómo sería la serie numérica de eso? En el chat, por favor, escríbanmelo todo. It's half Repeat, past teacher. four. Yes, escríbanme la serie numérica. Esta es la serie numérica, miren número y esta es la serie uh, literal en letras entonces aquí solo está la serie literal escríbanmelo en números justo así como lo han hecho en el chat exactamente yes very good wow uh -huh. we are on track we are on the same track ahora sí confirmo estamos en la misma sintonía qué bien yes uh -huh. very good excellent muy bien uh -huh. Yes, very, very good. Perfect. Yes. Excellent, excellent, excellent. What's the time? Esta no es muy común, les confieso, pero también se puede usar. What's the time? Uh -huh. Pueden utilizar what's the time, por ejemplo, digamos, Luz Angélica, she's having a video call with a friend from Canada. Digamos que en estos momentos, Luz Angélica está haciendo una videollamada con una de sus amigas que está en Canadá. Y le pregunta qué hora es en Canadá. ¿Ok? Entonces, Luz Angélica, ¿cómo, ¿cómo utilizaría esto para preguntarle a ella que está en Canadá? ¿Esta última? ¿Ah? ¿Luz? Ok. What time is it there? Ajá. What time is it there? Pero utilizando esta, la segunda. Segunda. Ajá. Mm. Léala. léala, léala. ¿Cuál, perdón? La segunda. Read it. Second one. It's five past two. No, no, perdón. La segunda pregunta, eh, Luz. Ah, Angelica. It is. Ah, no, it is. la segunda. Esa que está aquí abajo de What Time Is It, esta segunda. What's. I can see. Ah, ok. What's time? What's the time? Okay, what's the time in? ¿Qué país le di? In, in Canada. Exactly. Eso. What's the time in Canada? ¿Qué hora es en Canadá? Ajá. 
¿Ya? Okay. Eso pueden usarlo cuando hablen con alguien, digamos, de otro país, ¿ok? What's the time in Canada? What's the time in Chile? What's the time in Boston, Massachusetts, for example? Clear? Mm -hmm. Ok. No sé si es por el silencio, porque están analizando o porque los confundí. Here, sería, what the time is Canada, Iván? Is, mm. siempre vamos a ver is. No, Ileana, Ileana, Ileana. Ah. In. ¿La? In. ¿Cómo? In. 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 Ajá. What's the time in? ¿Qué hora es en? What's the time in? In Mexico, in Canada, in El Salvador. What's the time in? Right? Uh, teacher. Yes, Magdalene. Y si yo pregunto, what time is in Venezuela? Or ah, what time perfect. is in China? Perfect. Yo aquí solo les estoy proporcionando. Ajá. Uh -huh. Perfecto. Yo aquí solo les estoy proporcionando variedad. Y ustedes escogen okay. lo que más les comen. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. What's the time? What time is it? Uh -huh. Only that. Okay. What's the time? What time is it? Yes. Very good. Only that, right? Only, only that. Yes. Can I move on? ¿Puedo desplazarme a la siguiente diapositiva? Can I? Yes, you yes. do. You. Yes, you can. You are. Yes, you, you can. can. Okay. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Let's see the following statements. I go to work or I go to university at? At? Uh-huh. Uh, a half past 12. 12. Past 12. Half past 12. At half past 12. Okay. Yes, It's very good. Half past. Uh -huh. uh, yes, Magdalena. I have a doubt. Yes. En, 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 esas, en esa situación, en ese momento, se agrega cuando decimos y train y, y media. Agregamos una. Acabo de oír que, que agregó una. A half. A half. A half past 12. Mm, ok, entonces, cada vez que digamos media pasada la tal hora, decimos a half. O sea. Correcto. Ok, le dejo eso. ¿Sí? De hecho, puede decir it's 12.30 también. Son las 12 y 30. It's 12.30. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Another question? Alguna otra duda? No? I go home at 6 p.m. My English class starts at 8 a.m. My break, mi receso, mi descanso es at, my break is at 7 p.m., for example. My English class finishes at 10 p.m. My goes to work at 10. My boss, for example, mi jefe, my boss goes to work, va al trabajo, ¿a qué horas? Goes to work at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Okay. Goes to work at 8 p.m., right? ¿Cómo pueden decirlo? 7 a.m. or 7 in the morning. Mm -hmm. 2 p.m. or 2 in the afternoon. 9 p.m. or 9 in the evening. Okay? That's how you may say it. 9 p.m. or 9 in the evening. It all depends on what sure. you want okay. to say. We can yes. use the same way. Exactly. It is the same way. Yeah. Not a problem. 
Sorry, teacher. Uh, para decir dos y media, uh, no, no se puede. Eh, pero es que si dice, bueno, por ejemplo, it's 12.30 at noon. Son las doce y media del mediodía. Ajá. Sería mejor si solo dice it's, it's noon, es mediodía, it's noon, o simplemente dice la hora, Lice. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Perfect. The time. Uh -huh. yes. Thank you. Very good. Uh -huh. Another question? Another, another question? Uh -huh. More questions? No? No, no, no questions, teacher. No questions? Ok. Very good. Perfect. Write down four examples, please. Cinco actividades. Four. Four activities. Four activities that you do with the time. Cuatro actividades diarias que usted hace, ustedes hacen con su tiempo, please. Con su específico tiempo. Please, in your notebook. Mm -hmm. Please, please, please. Yes, you, Magdaleno. Salud, Magdaleno. Sorry. Thank you. No, no problem. Ya vi que este cambio drástico del clima no le asienta muy bien. No. This is an, an allergy. It's an allergy, okay? Mm -hmm. Very good. Students, what time is it right now? What time is it? It's uh, 48 past the eight. Okay. 48 <laughs> past eight. Okay, it's 48 past eight. Uh -huh. Si, sí, vi a Luz que ya estaba diciéndolo también. Okay, dijo Luz. Okay. <laughs> okay, excellent. Sí. Wow, ha sido una hora, lo han sentido. Yo pensé que eran como unos 20 minutos, media hora que había pasado. So, wow. Really fast. Teacher. Finish. Thank you. Finish. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you, students. Keep your examples in there. Mantengan sus ejemplos por ahí, que ya los vamos a ocupar dentro de poco. Perfect. So, again, here we have, um, like, the numbers, right? 
Uh, very good. So what do I want you to do? Easy. Very simple. Aquí están en desorden y aquí también. Únanlos, por favor. Escriban cuál sería el correcto. ¿Cuál va con cada uno, please? Put them together. Yeah, you match them together. You put them together in there. Tienen que unirlas. Ahí están en desorden. ¿Cuál corresponde con cuál? Yes. One more minute and we check together. Un minuto más y luego revisamos. One more minute. You finish, Angelica. Yes, right? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. I finished, sure. chair. Teacher. Yes, Magdaleno. Yeah. I have a I have a doubt. Tell me. I uh I see in in the in the chat. Uh-huh. Military hour or oh, military yeah. time. 
Ajá. Eh, eh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo decimos eso? The thing is that it's not very common. So, like, you just gotta say, like, the same. It's 50 past 22. It's 50 past 23. So, it's the same, but it's not very used. Es lo mismo. La idea es la misma. Igual el mismo parámetro que todo lo demás. Solo que no lo utilizamos eh, así, el horario de esa manera. Ajá. Ok. Ajá. Ya. Yeah. Era lo que le explicaba a José. Ajá. Preguntaba de eso. ¿Cómo sería? En ese caso? Ajá. Como el, el área de trabajo de él es la seguridad. La, los, los empleados de seguridad casi siempre son ex militares. Casi okay. siempre. Entonces, ah, ok. Ese ok. Ok. Ya. Yeah. That has a little bit to do. Uh -huh. Yes. Perfect. Uh, nice students. Listo para revisar? Ready to check? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Bien. Veamos. Uy. Uy, 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 uy. Uh, 3 a.m. Literal F. F. It's 3 o'clock. It's F. O'clock. Yes. No sé si les aparecen las líneas, les aparecen las animaciones. Yeah? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, 802. 8. It's 2 past 8. It's 2 past 8. Excellent. 321. Letter it's C. Two. Letter C. 21 past yeah. 3. Excellent. It's 21 past 3. Uh, 740, sorry, 757 a.m. Letter G. Letter G. Three to eight. Letter G. 225. Letter B. Letter? It's five Letter B. Yes. It's 25 past two. Uh-huh. 350 p.m. It's eight. It's 10 to 4. H. It's 10 to 4. H. Letter H. It's 10 to 4. <laughs> A10. Where's D? Letter B. B or C? Okay. D. D. It's 10 plus A. Uh -huh. It's 10 plus A. And then we have 305. Letter E. Letter it's e. e. It's five past three. It's five past three. Excellent. Y así les debe de quedar. Uh -huh. It's five past three. Very, very good. Ahí van a disculpar por el desorden de las líneas, please. Sorry, no sé por qué me aparecieron así las líneas. So, yeah. But still, right? It's understandable. Yeah. Very good. Questions, students? Do you have questions? Dudas? Yes? No? No. No questions? We have no questions. Okay. Very, very good. Perfect. Perfect. So, uh, in your manual, in su manual de trabajo, in the página 33, page 33, it appears this. Uh, veamos si se recuerdan de la clase número 2 y clase número 3 donde les explicaba esto. ¿Cómo se lee? Robles Agenda. ¿Cómo sería? Miss, Mrs. o Mr. Mister. 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 Mm, ¿Seguro? No, this is Mrs. Mrs. Robles. Mrs. Mrs. Robles Agenda. Ajá. Mrs. ¿Verdad? De una eh, dama ya casada. Mrs. Ajá. Mrs. Robles Agenda. Hey, so, teacher. Uh -huh. I have a doubt about yeah. this. Yeah. Uh, when, when in front of me, I have two Miss, how I can say? Miss. Okay, cuando like tengo two. fuente de amigo, 
Dos, dos señoritas. Ladies. Ajá, misas, dos señoritas, dos mis. misas. Pero entonces se va a oír como que digo mises casadas. No, porque va a decir mis ramos. Aquí está, estoy hablando con las mises. Mis muñoz en mis serrano. Vaya, bueno, pero si yo quiero decir como, que, como decimos aquí, señoritas, vengan. O señoritas, síganme. Ladies, come here. Ah, ladies, no mises. No. Ladies. Miss. Ladies. ladies. Ok. Thank you. Yeah. Ladies. Ladies. Ok. Correct. Ladies, come here. Excellent. Very good. Very, very good. Uh, ok. So, uh, read the first one. Lea la primera actividad, please. Um, Carla, Patricia. Number one. Is, it is. At 7.15. Mm. No, it's seven. Ah. It's, it's quarter to seven. Quarter to seven? Mm. No. Quarter past seven. It's quarter. It's quarter past two seven. No, sin el two. It's quarter past seven. Exactly. Uh -huh. At Me quarter past seven. At quarter past seven, meeting with marketing department. Thank you. Very good. Liana, number two. Uh, what time does Leo la. No, 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 no. Eh, la segunda. Mm, ahorita ah. estamos trabajando solo con esto, con el recuadro, sí. Ah, okay, okay. Ajá, yes. Uh, it al pass eight. Uh -huh. Video call with the supervisor from supervisor supervisor from West Company. Thank you. Uh -huh. Number three, please, Lisa. It's night. It's nine o'clock. Uh -huh. Workshop to the res research. Research and and develop and development, development department to improve improve, improve the the manufacturing process process uh -huh. workshop to the research workshop. to the research uh -huh. to the research and and development department develop como es ahí development department development department okay uh -huh. yes Uh, continue, please, uh, Reina. It's 12 o'clock workshop lunch. Workshops lunch. Workshops it's, lunch. Okay, it's 12 o'clock workshops lunch. Excellent, thank you. Very good. Uh, Yesenia? It's is one. No. No. It's, <laughs> it's forty five. Forty five. Forty five. Pass. Um, pass. As one. Aha. Uh -huh. Second. Second. Part second part. All day workshop. Workshop. Work yes. Job. Thank you. Aha. Uh -huh. En Magdaleno. Ok. Eh, this one is. Eh, five to six. At five to six. Send tomorrow uh, schedule. Schedule. Um, schedule. 
schedule. Yes, schedule. Uh huh. A schedule. Send tomorrow's schedule to Miss Lopez, new secretary. 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 No secretary. And no, secretary. 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 Uh, secretary. And, and leave. And leave. Okay. Yes. And leave. Doubts okay. about the vocabulary? Dudas sobre okay. el vocabulario? Estoy, estoy copiando varias palabras que no conozco. Estaba ah, buscando okay. en translate. Perfect. Eh, me dijo eh, schedule o ¿cómo era? Schedule. Schedule. Es que Schedule. Schedule. Ajá. Schedule. Schedule. Yes. Ajá. Schedule. Ajá. Ok. Eh, tengo workshop que era taller. Research. ¿Qué es? Research. Research. Re Una investigación. Ajá. A research. Research. Ya. Yeah. Investigación. Yes. Investigación. Eh, tengo development. Yes. Eh, ¿Qué es development? Development. Development. Uh, the action of developing cuando usted se desarrolla. Desarrollo. Yeah. Departamento de desarrollo sería entonces. Exactly. Ok. E, y la otra es improve. Improve. Get better. Uh -huh. Mejorar. Uh -huh. Mejorar. Yes. Correct. Mejorar. Correct, correct, correct. Yes. Very, okay. very good. Mm -hmm. yes. Mejorar el proceso de facturación. Exactly. Ok, yes. quizá marketing. Ok, solamente eso sería mi pregunta de vocabulario. Perfect. Perfect. Ahora sí, por favor, contesten las tres preguntas. Answer the three questions, please. Finish. Very good. Let's just wait for Finish. the others. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you.
finish. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you very much. So let's check together. Let's see what we have in here. Uh, what time is the video call with the West company? What time? It's half past two It's past eight. Okay, it's half past, past eight. Okay, let's see. Yes, the video call, it's at half past eight, right? You could have written numbers or you could have written everything based on the literals, not a problem, but that goes there, right? Not, not a problem, that goes there. Podrían haberlo escrito en números o en letras, no hay ningún problema, not a problem, right? Yes. What time does the workshop with the research department start? Uh-huh. It starts the at... workshop starts at nine o'clock. Okay. The workshop starts at nine o'clock. Yeah, it's correct. Very good. What time does the company close? Eight to six. It closes at? Five to six. Five, six, uh-huh, yeah. Or it closes exactly at six. Podemos también deducir que cierra a las seis de la tarde, right? It closes at six o'clock, exactly, right? Very, very good, perfect, thank you. Very good job. Now, so we are moving into something more practical, ahora sí. Solo elijan cuatro relojes de su elección. Four. Four, four. Solo elijan cuatro y ustedes le colocan la hora. Four of your election. Please. Mm -hmm. Yes. Select four and you write down the time.
Okay, everyone finish? Yes, not yet? Yes. Yes, I finished. Okay, I what finish. about the others? Perfect. Yes. What about the others? Yes, finish? Okay. Yes, perfect. teacher. Perfect, perfect. Uh, does somebody have number one? Alguien tomó el número uno? Who? Me. Okay. It's? Number me. one. It's six o'clock. It's six o'clock. Okay, do you all have the same? Todos tienen lo mismo? For number one, yes. yeah. Okay, excellent. Number two, did somebody select number two? Alguien eligió el número dos? Me. Okay. It's 24 past four. It's 24 past four. Okay, very good. Yes, number three? Me. Okay. It's quarter to six. It's quarter to six. Very good, excellent job. Number four, uh huh. Uh, it's twenty four past four. It's twenty four past four. Okay. Number five. Yes, number five. Number five. I Me, teacher. Number five. Okay, okay. It's 37 past one. It's 37 past one. Excellent, very good. Thank you. Do you have allergy, Reina? Yeah? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, I imagine, yeah. But almost, we almost finished. And then you go directly to sleep. Yes. Uh, number six. I have the number six. Okay. It is, uh, it is two past five. Mm. Three. Are you sure, two? <laughs> Maybe three. It's three. <laughs> it's three past five. Yes. Mm -hmm. Seven? Alguien in here, el numero siete? Seven? Me. Okay. It's eight to seven. It's eight to seven, okay. Number eight, participants. What about number eight? Uh-huh. It's 22 past 12. It's 22 past 12. Yeah, very good. Number nine. Me. Okay. It's four past nine. It's four past nine. Excellent. Good job. It's 40. Uh huh. Very good. Excellent. Wow. Very, very good job. Excellent, students. So we're going to move on into one more exercise for today. We have already completed this. And we're going to like take a look at these questions, right? Um, other expressions that you can use. Vamos a ver otras expresiones rapidito que pueden utilizar también, ¿verdad? What time is it? That is like the general question. Eso es algo que ya discutimos. No considero necesario que lo retomemos. Más bien avanzamos. Veo que está haciendo mucho calor en sus casas, al igual que acá. Así lo veo, veo. A, a cuatro veo así también y yo digo, ay, así quiero estar yo también. <ríe> yes. So, no sé si por sus casas llovió también como poquito. Y eso generó más calor. ¿Sucedió eso por las zonas donde viven? ¿Ya? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes, right. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay, very good. What time is it? It's eight past one. What time does the meeting start? It starts at 11 o'clock. What time do you arrive at work? At about, uh -huh, at about 6 48 or at about 48 past six. What time do employees leave? Usually around seven or 7.30. Teacher, in ese caso, ¿cuál sería la diferencia entre at about y around? 
El out about es como para decir más o menos, como un estimado, ¿verdad? I enter my job at about seven, más o menos a las siete, right? At about seven, right? And uh, I usually live around six. Y salgo alrededor de las siete, for example. Yeah? Is it clear the difference? Está clara la diferencia entre uno y otro? Clear? Yes, it's clear. Yeah? Repeat, okay. please. Sorry? Repeat, please. Okay. When you say at about, for example, I, uh, I arrive at work at about 6.48 or I arrive at work at about 48 past six. Eso es como decir más o menos. Yo llego al trabajo más o menos a las seis y cuarenta y ocho. Más o menos, right? Y cuando dice, uh, what time do employees leave? ¿A qué hora salen los empleados? They usually leave around seven or seven thirty. Y salen alrededor de entre siete a siete y media. Alrededor de. Cuando ustedes utilicen esto, at around, van a Decir dos horas, dos estimaciones de horas, tal como aparece acá, de entre siete a siete y media. Pero cuando dicen más o menos, uh, solo mencionan una hora. At 20 past seven. At about 20 past seven. At around seven or seven thirty. Ok, Carla. En clase. ¿Todos yes. estamos claros? ¿Ya? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. How do you say ya casi finalizamos o ya casi nos vamos, digamos, de su trabajo? ¿Alguna idea? We almost, we almost leave. Ah, pero eso es ya casi. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Ya ¿Me falta poquito? la pregunta? Sí. Ah, sí le hice, ¿verdad? La pregunta, perdón, es cierto. Sorry. <ríe> pero aquí está la expresión que ustedes pueden usar. Vean el chat. We are about to leave. Estamos a punto de, a punto de salir. We are about to leave. We are about to start the class. Ah, eso es solo para negativo, no. I'm about to start my class. Estoy a punto de iniciar mi clase. I'm about to start my class. A ver, regálenme un ejemplo. Give me an example using I'm about. I'm about to take my dinner. Okay, excellent. Another, another example. Sleep. I'm about to sleep, go to sleep. Another. Ajá, algún otro. Hey teacher, no entendí muy bien eso. I'm about to. Estoy a punto de. Así es la construction. That is the construction. I am about to. Ok, vamos a ver el chat. I am about to leave, for example. Estoy a punto de salir. I'm about to leave. I'm about to start. Estoy a punto de comenzar. I am about to start. Ok, entonces la hora... No, you don't mention. No. No la okay, menciono. Eh, ah, el detalle es la combinación de palabras, ¿verdad? Exactly. Porque aquí no ponemos Correct. at about, sino que ponemos uh -huh. about. to be más about. Exactly. Ok, esa sería la diferencia. Y es tiempo, sigue siendo el tiempo, solo que general, no específico. Uh -huh. Correcto. Exacto. Va, va, ok, creo que sí entendí. <risa> ok. Nice. Excellent. Very, very good. Questions about this? Preguntas? Sara, Lizeth, Veronica? Do you have questions? Uh -huh. No questions, teacher. No questions? Sara, Veronica, questions? No, teacher. No?
Very good. Very, very good. Perfect. So, very good. It's the time for you to practice, right? Um, for you to uh, keep it in here. So, let me see. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. So, en estos momentos, los he asignado a dos salas de discusión rapidito. Ustedes discuten solo ustedes, ¿verdad? What time? Pregúntense por la hora de, en que realizan sus actividades del trabajo o sus actividades de casa. ¿Ok? ¿Got it? Ok. Ok, for example, what time do you start work? Magdaleno. Example, no me responde. Oh. Solo Ajá. What time? <laughs> yeah, what time do you have dinner? ¿A qué hora tiene su cena? What time do you have dinner? Ok. What time do you practice your English? Oh Así. ¿Ok? Ok. Perfect, 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 perfect. ¿Ok? Muy bien, entonces los coloco en estos momentos en uh, sus grupos. ¿Ok? So, los coloco en este momento en sus grupos y discuten. Go ahead, vayan a discutir, please. Go, 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 go. Go and practice. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Lizeth, you have a question? Okay. Um, why, what time do you have your breakfast? Tomas tu desayuno? You can answer, Carla. I have my breakfast at uh, sometimes 10 a.m. or no, or don't have a, a breakfast. Oh, I usually take my breakfast at um, at half past. Nine. And you, Lisette? Lisette. Um, mi pregunta es, ¿verdad? Yes. Ah, ok. <ríe> es que me está fallando el inter, perdón. Uh, I am... Mm. 
seven o'clock. Okay, Yesenia, you have a question? Mm. What, what time do you leave work? Okay, I leave my work uh, at five o'clock. No sé, hoy, hoy sí, hoy sí. Hoy sí. Repeat, please. Uh, what, what time is the noon? What time is the noon? Um, 12. Uh, it's, uh, it's 12 o'clock. Oh. Welcome, teacher. <laughs> hey, Jose. You you Hi. have a break uh, a break at uh, midnight. Um. Yes. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh -huh. yes. I go to smoke at midnight. <laughs> Oh. Ah, it's okay. Excellent. Yes. What about you, Reina? Ay, pues la veo bien cansada, Reina. La veo, veo que todo se la ha juntado. El lavado con el planchado, con el secado. <laughs> yes. Me siento derrotada ahorita. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ánimos. Ya casi, ya, ya. Así como al tiempo va corriendo, ¿eh? rapidito, va a ser fin de semana otra vez. Yes. ¿Y do you have vacation, Reina? ¿Le dan vacaciones, Agostina? Do you? Yeah. Ah, vale. Una semana. Acuérdense de mis palabras. Rápido ahí, Reina, va a poder descansar, va a poder dormir, <ríe> levantarse tarde. Ya. Yeah. There is a point. Creo que el cuerpo reacciona a un punto, ¿verdad? De, del año que ya dice ya no. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so Magdaleno, uh, what time that? what time do you wake up? Um uh, always around 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Okay. 5 a.m. Excellent. Very good. Perfect. Very good. Muy bien. No se vayan a asustar, los voy a, a mezclar a todos ahorita. Van a pasar de, un, de una sala a otra, entonces solo tienen que aceptar la invitación, ¿ok? Bien, en algunos casos. Es para okay. que practiquen con todos, con todos.
my work uh, at about five o'clock or 15 at five. <laughs> Thank you. And Jose, practica Jose, Carla, Reina, and Yesenia. Una, unas dos preguntitas más y luego terminamos, ¿ok? Perfect. Ok. Pregúntenle a Jose. Jose quería participar, dijo que él quería hablar bastante. So, yes, Jose. <laughs> what time do you work, Jose? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Entonces. What time you take a dinner, Magdalena? I I take a dinner at uh, seven. seven uh, at about at about seven thirteen. Seven. Oh, seven thirty. And thirty. And thirty. 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 <laughs> it's yeah. okay. About seven thirty. Yeah. Um. And you? What about you? Uh, I take a uh, dinner around um seven or seven thirty. Like me. Okay. Yeah. And you, Diana? What about you? In quarter past. Ten. Four okay. past ten. O sea, las diez pasadas quince, las diez y quince. Ajá, las diez y quince. Oh, sí, Salmon to learn. Sí, sí, por veces se comiendo en la clase porque no aguanto. Ay, no. Son <laughs> no bocadillas. Sometimes I eat the, my breakfast at the eleven o'clock. In some time when I am busy. Okay. No. Yeah, really. Sometime when when I have some more people, so much people, I. Será que ella se fue a dormir el teacher? Ok, participants. Ok, so we're going to be, uh, continue, right? Now that we have practiced this, you complete this exercise. It's on page 34. We have these five mini conversations, right? So let me read them for you and then you complete them. There is a recruitment. Repeat it, please. Recruitment. Recruitment. This word. Es a palabra recruitment. Que... Uh -huh. Recruit. Recruit. Recruitment. 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 Uh -huh. Recruitment. So, yeah, that is a process that human resources does to get new employees. Eh, recursos humanos recluta, ¿verdad? Nuevos empleados, new employees, right? On Tuesday. Really? It starts. It starts at 9 a.m. Then it says, uh, 
Uh, let's meet for meeting on Wednesday. Great. You arrive. I arrive at 8.15 a.m. Number three. Tomorrow I have to go to the photo copy center. Me too. The photo copy center open. It opens at 6.50 or 50 past six. Number four, conversation number four. Wendy, do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Yes, but restaurants close here. Oh, around 25 past 7 p.m. And then we have number five. Number five says, Amanda has to take some reports to many departments on Monday. And they open, they open around 30, uh, sorry, half past seven or five past eight. So do me a favor, complete the conversations. Ahora sí, con base en la instrucción, completemos las conversations. Dice acá, complete the questions using what time, do or does. No en todas va a ser do, no en todas va a ser does. Es lo que tienen que identificar ustedes. Do or does. Please. Hey, teacher. Magdaleno, huh? Yes, okay. Magdaleno. Okay, ahí está. Hey, teacher. Yes. Eh, la tercera persona singular, ¿verdad? Que es he, yes. she, and it. Exactly. Uh, is right? Correct. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. I finished, teacher. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Magdaleno. Let's wait for the others to finish. Then we revise.
finish. Thank you, Luz. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let's just wait for the others to finish up. Yes. Mm -hmm. Finish the chair. Thank you. What about the others? Did you finish class? Finish, finish, yeah. Let's revise. Okay, let's check it together. Let's together. Number one, there is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Really? What is the question? What does it start? Okay, what time? What time it does, does, it, does, start? It, does it start? What time, what time does it start? Exactly. It starts at 9 a.m. Very good. Excellent. Yes. Let's, hey, meet, for let's meet for the meeting on Wednesday. Great. When, great. What time do you arrive? Mm -hmm. Do you all what have the same? What time do you arrive? Excellent. Great. What time do you arrive? I arrive at 8 15 a.m. Very good. Number three. Tomorrow I have to go to the photocopy center. Me too. Uh huh? What time do you go? What? The photocopy center open. Okay. What time does does? Uh-huh. What time does the photocopy center open? It opens at uh, 50, sorry, it opens at 10 to 7. It opens at 10 to 7. Number four, Wendy, do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Yes, but... but uh -huh. What's, what what's time? time? Yes, no, it's do. No. Do. Do. It's do. It's plural. What's uh -huh. time do? What time do restaurants close here? Oh, around 7.25 p.m. Yeah. Yes, that is correct. Mm -hmm. Number five, Amanda has to take some reports to many departments on Monday. And they open. What time does they open? Thus, are you sure? Thus, Do they apply us Better. What Much time better. do? What time do, do they open? They open around 7.30 or 30 past 7 or 5 past 8. Right? That is totally, totally correct. Very, very good. Yes. Excellent. Thank you very much. So I want to listen to what you describe in the, well, what you talk in the chat, in the sessions. Para ir cerrando, quiero escuchar lo que compartieron en sus, um, en sus salas de discusión, ya cuando estamos finalizando. So let me see. Um, Liliana, cuénteme. ¿Qué descubrió sobre Magdaleno, sobre Carla, Lisette? Yo le voy a dar un ejemplo como quiero que lo hagan. Por ejemplo, uh, Ileana starts her job at 7 a.m. teacher. In Magdaleno, it's his breakfast at 5 p.m. For example, <laughs> 5 a.m. in this case. Algo así. Ok, Ileana? In class? Dos ejemplos de lo que compartieron okay. con sus compañeros. Ok. Ok. De Magdaleno. Eh, Magdaleno. Solo Magdaleno. Breakfast. Eat breakfast at. Eat one o'clock. At one o'clock. Ok. A la una de la mañana desayuna. 
No. Magdalena? Sorry? <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. Uh huh. Yes. What else? Ajá, Ileana, un ejemplo más. Um, Piénselo, ya le voy a, ya lo voy, voy a regresar con usted. Ajá, Carla, Patricia. Two examples. Uh, for example. Luz, eh, go to work at eight o'clock. Goes, goes to work. Goes to work eight o'clock. Ajá. And, and Reina. How do you say sale, teacher? Lives. Lives at five o'clock. At five o'clock, thank you. Luz Angelica? Yes, teacher. Huh? Two examples. Um, Carla lives uh, to, the, to the work at 30 around. Sorry, around 30, around, no, around 3 or 3.30 Okay, AM. very, mm -hmm. very um, good. And I don't remember. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Reina, <laughs> one example, Reina. Solo one, just one example, Reina. Okay. Carla wake up at about 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yesenia, one example. Uh, Lisette, do you lunch? Does her lunch? Has her lunch? Okay. Uh, en ese caso sería okay. makes, porque como se trata de preparación, makes. Makes her lunch at? Two o'clock. At two o'clock, okay. okay. Okay, Magdalena. Okay, um, Luz, Luz uh, takes her breakfast at, uh, at almost 7.30. Okay, excellent. Lisette del Carmen. Okay. Um... No me acuerdo exactamente las respuestas. Go ahead. Es, no, digamos un ejemplo. Reina mm, makeup at makeup 6 at, a.m. Ok. Reina makeups at, makes up at 6 a.m. Okay. Reina se maquilla a las 6 de la mañana. Ok. Very good. Y finalizamos con José. José. I don't remember. Ben, give me one example. <laughs> de usted depende, José, que terminemos con broche de oro. Ah, one example. Okay. Um, Carla Patricia takes dinner at the um, house. PM. PM. 10 half pm. Uh, okay, at half 10. Half 10? Half 10. PM. Half 10. PM. PM. Uh -huh. Excellent. Very good. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Excellent, students. Very, very good. That is totally, totally correct. Excellent. Bueno, pues me siento bien orgulloso porque han dominado un tema que a muchos les cuesta. ¿Cómo sienten? ¿Cómo sienten ya después de esta clase el tema? Easy, difficult. So, so. so, so, more practice, right? Yes. You need more practice. Okay. 
Very good. Excellent. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Bien. Uh, I just have two announcements. El primero, no olviden de hacer su tarea, ¿verdad? Eh, para este, para el día de ayer, sí, no les quise colocar una pregunta porque sé que eh, la tarea era un poquito extensa, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso no. Pero ahora sí, la pregunta ya les va a aparecer ahí. La responden, please. No olviden de responderla. Igual que su tarea. Ya vamos a mitad de semana, entonces ya tienen que llegar para el 100% de las tareas, en la tarea número 3, ¿verdad? Acuérdense que la tarea número 3 son cinco tareas chiquitas, una cada día de la semana, y así llegan al 100%. Entonces, no olviden hacerlo, ¿ok? Don't forget to complete them. Perfect. Entonces, um, bien, como último punto, este día le corresponde la um, tutoría a Verónica, pero Verónica no está acá. Entonces, eh, por si alguien se quiere quedar, le aclare alguna duda, pues ahí me dice. Los demás, good evening. Bye, bye. Good evening. Bye. Good evening. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye, bye. bye, bye. Okay, so the session of today, it's for uh, Veronica, but Veronica connected. Uh, but she had problems, she had connection problems, and then she couldn't continue. So, well, we're going to review a little bit of what we did in today's session, right? Using the, well, asking that question, what time is it, right? What time is it? And we practice by giving many examples in today's class about what time is it, for example. What time is it right now? It's, let me see, for example, in this moment, it's like this. I'm going to say it's two past eight. That is the time I'm going to say. Oh no, it's not, it's 10. <laughs> it's 10, right? It's 10. Entonces aquí sería, it's 2 past 10. Okay. So like this, it's 2 past 10. This is how you say it, right? You can say uh, like this as the most natural form to say it, right? It's 2 past 10 to give you an idea. This is just to give you an idea. What time is it? For example, you may say, it's five past eight, for example. And in that case, you are saying it's eight oh five, right? The magic or what you need in order to express these ideas clearly and concisely is besides the time, of course, the numbers. So it's really, really important that you remember the numbers, right? The numbers are necessary, super, super necessary to remember, right? Y that, los nombres, los números son muy necesarios, que se los aprendan. Eso es como una prioridad, super, super necessary, ¿verdad? Muy necesario para que ustedes puedan decir la hora de forma adecuada, correcto. So it's 7 a.m., that is most normal or most common way to say the time, but you can also say it's two past 10. It's five past eight, for example. That is just another example. What time is it? It's two past 10. It's five past eight, right? So like that. Uh, well, so those are basically the examples, right? What do you normally have to say? Very, very good. Yes, excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, let's see, what else? Just to give you another example, the expression of about, right? That example that we started today, I leave my job at about what? Half, half past seven, like this. 
I leave my job or I abandon my job, right? At about 7.30 or half past seven. That's how you say it. Give you more examples. I finish my homework at around 10 past 10 or a half past 10, right? In this case, in this case, just as, uh, like I explained to you before, right? This depends on the time. This may vary, this may change. That is like, um, you provide two options of time, right? You mention two times in which you can do an activity, like 10, uh, oh, 10 to 10.30. For example, right? I leave my job at about 7.30 or I leave my job half past seven. Give you an idea. Uh, my classes finish, for example, sorry, I got a typo here. Finish at seven o'clock, right? My classes finish at seven o'clock. That's how you say it, yes? Very, very good. Let me give you one minute for you to write down one example, please. En este minuto escriba un ejemplo. Uh -huh. Y luego revisamos lo siguiente. Then we check the next. Okay, so the last example that we have for today, it's related to a two actually, right? So how can we say that using two? Well, you may actually say like when you know that a time is coming, right? For example, it's in this moment two, two, 11, for example, right? It's 2 to 11. In this case, I am indicating that it's two minutes missing before we move on to 11, before the clock changes into 11, right? It's 2 to 11. Faltan dos minutos para que sean las 11 de la noche. So, for example, right? That's how you say it. That's how you describe, right? The idea, it's two to 11. It's one to 11, for example, right? It all depends on the change you do of the minutes. So you have to pay close attention to that. The change that you give to the minutes as you mention them, okay? Very good. So that is in general, yes. So when it comes to describe the time, there are many, many ways that we can use to describe it. It all depends on uh, the expressions that you normally use. And at the same time, to, it depends on, um, well, vocabulary, right? I mean, I have given to you many options today, 
but it all depends on how you want to say it, and what you want to transmit. Like I told you before, students, participants, it depends on how specific you want to be, right? If you want to be very specific, you mention, okay, um, it's, um, for example, it, my meeting, it's at noon, or my meeting is in the afternoon, right? Just to give you an example, it all depends on that. It has to do with that and more and more details. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I hope you have enjoyed this class. And well, I see you tomorrow. Have a good day and bye-bye. See you.